So, here we go. I actually found myself in the interesting position... Oh, Shaz was saying, I think you can do it. I believe in you, Angry. You know, I believe the video epi uh, evidence from last session says that you did not believe in me at all. Um. So, number one, I found myself in the odd position of actually explaining the entire plot of the game, uh, that is summarizing the entire plot of the game. And I think I actually do understand everything that has happened. I also had to look up the thing with Shadow's bracelets. Um, and apparently Shadow's bracelets are some kind of, uh, inhibitor things because he was built to be the ultimate life form and he is super powerful, but he will overload himself. Um, and then, it, you know, so he wears those bracelets to keep his power under wraps. So when Mephiles cloned himself, you know, millions of times and attacked, um, attacked Shadow, Shadow took off the inhibitor bracelets so that he could, you know, fight Mephiles. But Mephiles obviously got away. <laughs> <laughs> Shazba says, okay, see, I didn't believe you could do it in one episode, but I think you can finish it this time. Aw, oh, thank you. Monkey Nohito is suggesting that I run a Sonic game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um... Don't cry. You know what? I actually could... No could bring myself to do it. If I had the right engine, I would run something in one of the Sonic universes. I would probably use the one... What was the one awesome cartoon where it would, where they were like the underground resistance and Dr. Robotnik had taken over the world? Uh, that was really cool. <laughs> Finally, the seal is broken. O-Dog says, I've got to admire a guy who enjoys his work. Uh, probably of Mephiles' laugh. Shazba says she claims whatever has psychokinesis. Monkey Nohito says, if you understand this garbage, you could totally do it. Okay, I, I do. And not only that, but I think there's actually a really good depiction of the consistent history's approach to time travel in this game, barring this ending bit with uh, Mephiles kind of breaking out of this. Um, that is to say, I think this whole game was... Um, you know, was one big stable time loop, and Mephiles' goal was to break it. Anyway, I don't know why we're sitting and watching this whole thing again. Though... Shazba says... dot 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 dot, really. I don't know what that's a response to. Is it just me, or is everyone on the street in, 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 uh, Soli, Soliaran, Naran, uh, Soliana wearing a yarmulke? Shazba says when you describe it like that, it sounds cool. No, no, I, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, I don't know if I really want to do this, but I, I really think I could summarize the whole plot. Is this because of that light? The Chaos Emerald has disappeared. Silver? What are you doing here? This is all so confusing. I also want to say I think this entire thing is a setup for this whole game never having happened by the spatial distortion.
R.L. Richie, hello. R.L. Richie says, awesome, I made it. Definitely never played this game, but looking forward to hear what you have to say about it. Well, you're coming in at the very end. So, <laughs> at this point, everything's really already been said. No, you don't think. Sonic! Alright, here's a fun game. In, in video games, whenever they have that sort of trail-off line, like, no, you don't think dot 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 dot, try to guess what the character was actually going to say to finish that sentence before they got cut off. So that's why he wanted me to kill Sonic before. Yeah, uh, technically I can skip these cutscenes, and we'll, we'll just have to, um... We'll just have to, um, watch all the loading screens. Oh dog, yes, the red one is Knuckles. Knuckles is technically an echidna, not a, not a hedgehog. time to waste! We've got to defeat it now! No. It is a transcendent light form that exists in the past, present, and future. Defeating it here, now, would do nothing. O-Dog says, Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Braid, but where would you find a duck and a hose at this hour? If you say it exists in the past, present, and future, I'll destroy them all at once! Certainly. It might have been possible, if he was still alive. Sonic! Technically, Shadow beat Mephiles, and Silver beat Iblis, so there's no reason for them to think they can't do this without Sonic. Sonic just killed a, um... So all Sonic did was he broke a robot. He didn't even kill Robotnik. Sonic's presence in the wind. Uh, of course you do. O-Dog says, why is the bad guy from the rest of the game explaining what is going on? Because Dr. Robotnik actually understands what is going on, and he was not the real bad guy. I mean, he was a bad guy, but... He, uh... thoughts on using its power to perform this miracle? Of course, we don't have the Chaos Emeralds. I can? You were the vessel that was used to seal Iblis. <laughs> R.L. Richie says this, this game is crazy. As someone who hasn't played Sonic in almost 20 years, this seems very different. Uh, yeah, you're in the same boat I was. The last time I played Sonic, Dr. Robotnik was just kidnapping forest creatures and turning them into robots. Solaris flung the Chaos Emeralds to the distant corners of this distorted world. To collect them all in time, we'll have to split up. <laughs> I'll go too. Because it's for Sonic. So Elise, watch over him. No, no, okay, Shazba's saying it's really hard. I feel like you'd have to make a timeline of all three stories to explain the plot. No. No, you don't. Actually, there it is one consi there is one consistent timeline that actually and all the time traveling they do is consistent with all of the the events in the game. Oh, oh, she's talking about counting the number of kidnappings. Alright, since I've already talked about what's going on here and there's really not much that's interesting to talk about in these levels themselves. Let me see if I can sum up the entire plot of this game. Alright, 
So 10 years ago, in the kingdom of Soliana, which worshipped the sun god Solaris, who is the god of sun, but also the god of time, and is some so somehow some sort of wrathful god. So the king of Soliana decided, hey, let us use our magical sun god, who is also the god of time, as uh, a power source. Basically a fusion reactor, kind of, kind of like, um, uh, like sort of a Dr. Octopus type plan. So they build this this fusion this device to imprison Solaris, um, and so they they build this basically a reactor to imprison Solaris. The reactor goes wrong somehow, and um, Solaris Solaris sort of explodes free, but as he's doing so, um. Two hedgehogs appear, Silver and Shadow. Nobody knows quite where they came from, but they, they just sort of appear there. Uh, at the same time, Solaris is split into two different components. There is Iblis, which contains the fire and wrath of Solaris. And then there is... Um, and then there is uh, Mephiles, the Dark, which is basically a shadow. Um, and that contains his time travel powers. Silver helps the King of Soliana imprison Iblis, the fire and destruction portion, inside of his ten-year-old daughter, Princess Elise. It, because Elise has a royal soul, she can contain uh, the flames of destruction that are Iblis. Um, and that's the only reason. Uh, so... Then the king. Then the king dies. Um, meanwhile, uh, Shadow goes and confronts Mephiles the Dark and manages to imprison him in uh, in in this uh, magic scepter, the scepter of darkness that the that was a royal treasure of Soliana. So the king of Soliana had it. Um, Unfortunately, as whoa, oh, the door is open. Good. As um, as Shadow imprisoned Mephiles, Mephiles learned who Shadow was and realized that he is incredibly powerful and vowed revenge on him. Um, so that was ten years ago. The king also does not survive the experiment. Silver rescues Elise and leaves her. Outside of the ruins of the ancient castle, along with uh, one of the along with the Chaos Emerald, with a Chaos Emerald, and he and Silver disappear. Damn it! I hit the fire. Okay. Um. So then flash forward some time, and it's not clear how much time passes, but at some point Dr. Robotnik ends up in... I'm sorry, Eggman. We're not supposed to call him Robotnik. So at some point, Eggman ends up in, in Soliana, and specifically ends up in the aquatic base where the Solaris experiment takes place. Because of he reads all the data and discovers that using Solaris he could build a time machine, and the time machine would then allow him to control the past, the present, the future, and take over the world, which is what he's always looking to do. Now, he obtains the Scepter of Darkness, which was left behind, uh, probably from the royal castle somehow, and that's what contains Mephiles. Uh, and then he needs two other things. Number one, he needs the princess, because her soul contains Iblis, and he has to reunite Iblis and Mephiles in order to bring back, uh, in order to bring back Solaris and create the Solaris to prototype. Um, uh, and the last thing he needs is at least one Chaos Emerald, whose power is needed to to rejoin Mephiles and, uh, what's her name? Oh, uh, Mephiles and Iblis. Oh, the other thing is that 
Before she dies, the king tells Princess Elise never to cry because despair is what would ultimately unleash Iblis back into the world, and then he would he's basically uncontrolled fire and destruction. Bam. Okay. So, Eggman then goes to the Festival of Soliana in order to capture the princess, Princess Elise, and her Chaos Emerald, the one that Silver left her ten years in the past when Silver rescued her. Um, I have no idea why I just shot up into, into, into the air like that. Okay, so Dr. Robotnik's plan is ultimately to build this, um, build the Solaris device, or basically rejoin... Um, rejoin. I have no idea where the Chaos Emerald is here. This is as far as I got last time. I guess we're just gonna keep moving. Holy shit, there it is! Why did I just shoot up into the air like that, though? Sonic. Oh, no! That sucked. The Chaos Emeralds. Where are they? Um, so anywho. So this is Robotnik's plan. He kidnaps... Princess Soli or Princess Elise uh, and tries to claim her Chaos Emerald. But Sonic shows up to rescue her um, because Sonic is always following Dr. Robotnik and opposing his plans, whatever they happen to be. Um, so Sonic shows up to rescue Princess Elise Elise is captured, but she gives the Chaos Emerald to Robotnik. Now Robotnik needs another Chaos Emerald in order to, uh... Uh, in order to, uh, to complete his plan. Sonic keeps attempting to rescue Elise, but this hedgehog from the future, Silver, keeps appearing and trying to stop him, allowing Elise to keep getting recaptured. Meanwhile, Dr. Robotnik is now searching the world for one of the other Chaos Emeralds. He goes to the Desert Temple because there's supposedly a... Oh, we're in the desert. So, uh, okay. Let's take this slow until we figure out what's... Ooh. Oh, I couldn't get his uh, thing to activate. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's... This is going to be kind of a problem. I'm stu I'm stuck here. I don't know what's actually... Okay. Uh, okay. So, Dr. Robotnik takes Elise to the, to the Desert Temple to try and get the Chaos Emerald that is supposedly there. Um... But Sonic shows up to rescue Elise. Uh, and does so, but then Robotnik recaptures Elise. Finally, Robotnik decides, okay, just I'll just offer to swap Elise for the one Chaos Emerald. Um, and use that to power the, pro the, the Solaris device just enough to at least send Sonic off to... Y you know, to basically send Sonic to the future. Okay. Uh, I guess I should look around and figure out where I need to go, huh? And stop talking for just a second. Oh, crap on a cracker. Okay. Um... Yeah, I see you guys lurking. That is the first time I have ever been able to see them lurking in the ground. Um, anywho. Not now. I don't, sh uh, the chat is saying some things, and I'm not really paying attention. I'm sorry. Because I'm having a really good run here, and I don't want to fuck it up. The 
All right, I don't care. I'm not. I'm not getting into it with you guys. I got bigger fish to fry. Oh wait, I think there's. It looked like there was an eyeball eagle down there. Oh no, I'm just seeing those those weird statues. I can't determine whether the sand actually kills me or not. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Oh god, don't I can't I'll never give up. Let's go. Uh the chat is asking about uh Eggman's names and why he has two different names. Uh there's actually a couple of things going on there. Number one, oh this this went up much higher than it did last time. Um, okay, so, wait, wait, I missed the story recap. I was trying to prove that I understand the whole story. Okay. Meanwhile, while all of this is going on, Rouge the Bat, who is an agent for GUN, G-U-N, which I believe is basically like the United States or the Federation or something, broke into Robotnik's lab to steal back the Scepter of Darkness. G-U-N discovered that he had it, and believed that it was an artifact that was dangerous and needed to be gotten back from him. When Rouge was captured, um, Shadow was sent to rescue her. When Shadow attempted to rescue her, uh, or rescue Rouge, the Scepter of Darkness was broken, and Mephiles the Dark, the Shadow, broke out. He recognized Shadow from his imprisonment ten years ago and absorbed Shadow's power. Shadow being the ultimate life form. Um, so he absorbed some of Shadow's power, um, which basically added to his own power. And then using... And then using his own power over the control, the flow of time, he sent... Sh he banished Shadow to the future and Shadow vanished. Um, meanwhile, uh, let's see. So, Sonic continues to try and rescue Princess Elise until ultimately Silver changes sides and helps him uh, after a confrontation that he had with, with uh, Shadow. I gotta be close to the end, right? Right? Let's break out of it. Or at least, could I have a re reality restoring thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. This is bad, because... If I take a hit I and get stun-locked... I get sucked into the eyeballs. Why is his stage so much longer than the other ones? Oh, good. I got a silver medal. Oh, are you kidding me? I have to do platforming here? Can you at least tell me where I'm supposed to go? Maybe this way? No, that's the path I came from. Oh, this blows. Oh, what the frig? I wouldn't care so much that the stage is longer if I had the opportunity to save or something.
Uh, okay, where the hell was I in the whole story thing? Okay, so Shadow and Silver have this confrontation, and that's when they go back in time, because Shadow was chasing Dr. Robotnik after trying to find out why Dr. Robotnik wanted Mephiles back. Now, that wasn't really explained in the game, but somehow Shadow had sort of figured out that Dr. Robotnik was trying to recapture Mephiles. And the reason Dr. Robotnik was trying to recapture Mephiles was because he needs to reunite Mephiles and Iblis in order to... in order to uh, recreate Solaris and finish his time machine. Again, he has a prototype, and the prototype... Oh, come on! I had no way to see that coming! Ah, oh, fuck this. Uh, yeah, so anyway, okay. So ultimately, that is when Shadow and Silver traveled back in time to the origin of Mephiles and Iblis to see what had happened. When they came back, Shadow went to chase down Mephiles, while Silver went to, uh... While Silver went to help Sonic defeat Dr. Robotnik and save Elise. Uh, because Silver had gotten attached to Elise after saving her the first time in the past ten years ago. Um... So... Sonic goes to save Elise, only to witness Eggman's battleship crashing and Elise being killed in the crash. Shadow and Silver, or Sha Sonic and Silver, then use their power of time travel to go back and to send Sonic back in time two days, while Silver goes back to the past. Uh, not I don't have it in me to keep recapping the story at this point. Because I, I also forgot... It's it's tough to concentrate on it while I'm trying to concentrate on not getting killed here. Oh, come on! That f suck. I hate this. Oh, meanwhile, Sonic was briefly sent back to the future... Sent into the future by...